We're an Australian biotechnology company. What we do is we're developing a test for prostate cancer, a diagnostic test, and it's shaping up to be simpler and cheaper and better than the existing tests that are on the market at the moment. So our most exciting achievement is that we've done a trial of this test and it was 125 patients, all Aussie men, uh, some with prostate cancer, some with an enlarged prostate, some who were healthy. And the numbers that we got from that test were really good. We showed that we had a much less uh, false positive rate than the PSA test, which is the test that's out on the market at the moment. And what that means is that men don't have to go off for an unnecessary biopsy. And biopsy is not so nice to have, but the other problem is you can get quite a bad infection from it. So the doctors and the patients really want to avoid that if they can. So if you, you don't catch these people in who have been getting this PSA test saying, oh, you better go off and have a biopsy, mm -hmm. instead you could have our test as well, and it would say, no, these guys don't need to be biopsied. So that in itself is, is a really big finding. It's exciting urologists, it's exciting uh, the research community, and, and of course it's exciting the company as well. It is at a, a sort of late development and early commercialisation. So right at the moment we're designing clinical trials to be done in the US. 300 people in the first trial, 1200 people in the second. Both of those will happen next year. So the company's been working really hard on, on the clinical side of it. Um, the intellectual property, we've been actually protecting uh, what we're doing by patenting it. And thirdly, the manufacturing side of it. So we've actually got some uh, guys in the US who are manufacturing the test kit to the standard that you could actually use in uh, your test once it's registered. So all test kits like this uh, fall into the class of what they call in vitro medical devices or IVDs. And uh, the thing about those is that they have to be approved either by the FDA in the US, by the TGA in Australia, um, by uh, Medicines Europe in, um, in the European Union. So somebody's got to say, yes, you can sell this test for the purpose you want. So we've been working really hard on getting all those elements together because they all have to, to work together to actually get that test out on the market. So commercialisation is really happening this year and uh, is going to get to kind of a fever pitch by the later part of the year uh, where we're really bringing all those elements together. The next 12 to 18 months are um, validate the test, show that it, it's it's reproducible and wherever you use it, it uh, gives you the same result. Then it's do the what we call a pilot study of 300 people, then what they call a pivotal study of 1200. That gives you all the data you need to get your regulatory approvals. Um, alongside that in parallel you're sorting out all your, your manufacturing aspects. The last part of the puzzle is to find a, a partner. So small Aussie company, worldwide market, 230 million PSA tests a year, so you can imagine uh, a test like this coming along looking to get into that market needs some partners. So we're looking for commercial partners to help us take that global. So these are going to be big players, either diagnostics companies or perhaps pharmaceutical companies who have a diagnostics arm. This is an extremely innovative company, um, extremely well run, great board of directors, great management. Uh, we're on track to really succeed. So right at the moment we're looking for a $5 million placement. Um, so I'm talking to a lot of people and uh, getting a lot of interest, but there's still opportunity uh, for people to invest in the company. They can find out more from our website. Um, that's the best place to start. That has all the contact details. And um, we'd be very happy to talk to people uh, who um, look at the story and like what they see.